Good morning for the third time, ladies and gentlemen. Brooke Edison, say hello to the people. Say hi. Hi, people. All right, so what we have here, we have three graphs. I want you to ignore, ignore what you see on the bottom. Up top should look very familiar to you. So we have a perfectly competitive firm, and we have their side-by-side -side graph with the market here. Take a second. That is a perfectly competitive firm. Somebody fill in the blanks for me. Papa, it's a perfectly competitive firm earning a profit. <coughs> yes, Brooke Addison, profit earning perfectly competitive firm. You are correct. Good job. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to think about these long-run adjustments here. So hopefully you would know, and we just talked about this, right, Brooke Addison, that when perfectly competitive firms earn a profit in the long run, what will happen? More firms will enter. Yes, that's right. Why? Papa, if you could sell a chocolate chip muffin for a profit, I can too. That's right. And it's easy to do. It's easy to start up because the barriers are low. So you see this supply curve move to the right. And what will happen is your price will fall and so will your MR until we earn profits that are what, Rick Addison? Zero. Very good. And notice that will be when MR is at the minimum of ATC, that's your long run equilibrium break even firm graph. However, Brooke Edison, what do you need to make a chocolate chip muffin? Um, flour, sugar, chocolate chips, maybe a cook, a worker of some kind. Very good. And you'll notice down here, I've drawn the market for those things. And think about it, if more firms are coming along, oh, oh, hang on with me, hang on, don't get grumpy back there. If we have more firms, that want these things, think about what happens in this uh, graph here. Well, lo and behold, all of a sudden, can anybody figure out what's going to happen down here? We have more firms that want these things. Demand will shift to the right. Beautiful. So if we move our demand curve to the right here, <laughs> notice that our price has gone up. This is what we call an in increasing cost industry. If the price of these things goes up, notice what changes for this firm. The costs are going to start to go up. We saw this in class. There was a question about what was going to happen to your ATC curve. Well, it's going to start to inch up now because they have to pay more for the things that they need to make their muffins. So simultaneously, the ATC curve starts shifting upward while your supply curve moves to the right. And they're going to end up meeting someplace... <laughs> in the middle here. So you get your new ATC curve like this. So it's not the original minimum of ATC, it's a new spot a little bit higher. Yes, I am, Papa. So this is a little help to get you to understand the idea of an increasing cost industry. Notice if it's a constant cost industry, what will happen here, Brooke Addison? Nothing, Papa, nothing. So your ATC curve won't move at all. Uh, Hopefully this helps you a little bit with this idea. Hey, we got to keep our hats on. See, see you later. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. All right, good luck, guys. If you need help, make sure you let me know.